Aphids are small, sap-sucking insects. Their common names include green fly and black fly, although individuals within a species can vary widely in color. The species in this video is called the oleander aphid or milkweed aphid. They are quite widespread in tropical and Mediterranean regions. The majority of aphids can reproduce by alternating between asexual and sexual generations or alternatively by parthenogenesis. Female oleander aphids reproduce by parthenogenesis as well and males have never been observed in the wild but have been produced under laboratory conditions. A typical life cycle involves flightless females giving live birth to female nymphs who may also be already pregnant, an adaptation scientists call telescopic generations. Telescopic generations can occur in pathogenetic species such as aphids that have the ability to reproduce without ovum fertilization. This occurrence is characterized by a viviparous female having a daughter growing inside her that is also pathogenetically pregnant with a daughter cell. The females may be either wingless or winged. The winged form, also known as alate, that occurs at a higher rate in regions where it is necessary for the oleander aphid to migrate each year onto a new temporary host or where colonies become too large for the host plant to support them. About 5,000 species of aphids have been described so far. About 400 of these are found on food and fiber crops and many are serious pests of agriculture and forestry. Many aphid species are monophagous, which means they feed only on one plant species throughout their life. They feed by using their sharp mouth parts to sup on the sweet phloem step of plants. The phloem is the vascular tissue in plants. This sugar-laden juice is very poor in protein, so they have to process a lot of sap to get their dinner. The insects discard excess sugar, coating the leaves and ground below the colony with sticky honeydew. Oleander aphids have a wide range of hosts, but mainly feed on plants in the dogbane family. This is a family of flowering plants that include trees, shrubs, herbs and vines. The name refers to the fact that some of these were used as dog poison back in the day. The oleander aphid can act as a vector of viruses in the genus Potovirus and Cucumovirus. Ten different viruses are known to be vectored by them. They have a lot of natural enemies, which include predatory ladybugs, hoverfly larvae, parasitic wasps, aphid midge larvae, crab spiders, lacewing larvae, and entomopathogenic fungi. An entomopathogenic fungus is a fungus that can act as a parasite of insects and kills or seriously disables them. In these two shots that I captured a couple of years ago, you can see a couple of flies that became victims of this parasitic organism. The control of aphids is not easy and biological pest control can only be effective in controlled environments such as greenhouses. I left a few interesting facts for last that you might not know about, so don't go anywhere. Also, if you're enjoying the video and you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Some species of ants farm aphids. They are the so-called dairying ants. They protect them on the plants where they feed and consume the honeydew the aphids release. This is a mutualistic symbiotic relationship with these dairying ants, milking the aphids by stroking them with their antennae. Aphids attended by ants also tend to increase the production of honeydew in smaller drops with a greater concentration of amino acids. Another really interesting fact that I found out about aphids is that some species have acquired the ability to synthesize red carotenoids by horizontal gene transfer from fungi. The horizontal gene transfer or lateral gene transfer is the movement of genetic material between unicellular and multicellular organisms other than by the vertical transmission of DNA from parent to offspring. They are the only animals other than the two spotted spider mites and the oriental hornet with this capability. Using their carotenoids, aphids may well be able to absorb solar energy and convert it to a form that their cells can use, which is ATP. ATP is the energy carrying molecule found in the cells of all living things. This is the only known example of photoheterotrophy in animals. The interesting dance where they swing their bodies around that you can see from time to time during this footage is a kind of defensive warning. Insects that amble into a colony will be jabbed by the piercing mouth parts of the older aphids. They are too weak to hurt humans or other large animals but are quite helpful against predators of their own size.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you might also want to check out these.